Welcome to Colorful Show, today we will talk about how to get out of sad mood. Your vitality may be depleted by depression, leaving you drained and worn out. As a result it may be tough to gather the will or energy to seek therapy. There are, however, simple actions you can take to boost your sense of well-being and give you a sense of control. Number 1. Eat a healthy diet. The effects of what you eat can be felt both physically and mentally. When you're feeling down, it's tempting to go for snacks high in sugar or fat, but it's best to adhere to a balanced diet of fruits, vegetables, and proteins, which will boost your energy and keep you fed. You assist you keep a schedule throughout the day, avoid missing meals and make sure to consume them at regular intervals. You should also moderate your use of alcohol and caffeine, both of which have a depressant effect on mood. Always remember that drinking won't make your worries go away and can even make you feel worse. When they are sad and at danger of weight loss, some people don't feel like eating. Others turn to food for pleasure and may gain weight. Your appetite may also be impacted by antidepressants. Speak with your doctor if you have any concerns about your weight, weight gain, or how antidepressants are impacting your appetite. Number 2. Exercise. Anxiety, tension, and depression symptoms can be greatly reduced with just 15 minutes of moderate exercise every day, according to studies. This is due to the fact that exercise releases feel-good hormones while also helping to break down stress chemicals like cortisol. However, not all activities need to make you sweat and get your heart rate up in order to be helpful in fighting depression. Exercises may include walking for 30 minutes, gardening, cleaning the house, washing your car, going for a bike ride, playing outside with your kids, taking your dog for a walk. Number 3. Go outdoors. Getting outside and into the sunshine is another component of self-care that is simple to ignore when all you want to do is stay on the sofa. Different hormones are released in your brain in response to light and darkness, and spending too much time inside can significantly affect your mood. Spending time outside can help you produce more vitamin D, decrease your blood pressure, strengthen your bones, and sleep better in addition to increasing your serotonin levels. Nature can have a powerful influence on depression. Research suggests people who spend time in nature have improved mental health. Consider taking a walk at lunch among the trees or spending some time in your local park or plan a weekend hike. These activities can help you reconnect with nature and soak in some rays at the same time. Number 4. Get good sleep. If you're not getting enough sleep, sleep affects every other aspect of your life. Sleep issues and depression are related because both can affect your capacity to operate normally on a daily basis, with sleep issues potentially causing or exacerbating depressed symptoms. Keep a consistent bedtime and wake-up time, avoid taking naps, and enter strong light as soon as you awaken to tell your brain it's time to start the day in order to promote a healthy sleep cycle. You can fall asleep more quickly at night by limiting your intake of alcohol and caffeine and by exercising throughout the day. Number 5. Interact with family and friends. You can notice yourself withdrawing from others, avoiding social settings, or not wanting to burden people with your emotions even if you are only mildly depressed. Finding a solid support network and making time for the people you care about is one of the most difficult but beneficial things you can do to assist yourself through depression. Try to remind yourself these people care about you. Resist the temptation to feel like you're a burden. Plan visits with family and friends and lunch with co-workers, and set time and location where you can turn to people when you're feeling down. Some of these individuals may have experienced depression themselves, so they may be able to connect to you on the issue and provide strategies that have worked for them in the past, or they may just be willing to listen. Dealing with people makes you less focused on yourself. Number 6. Try something new entirely. You employ the same brain regions while performing the same task repeatedly. By doing something completely different, you can stimulate your neurons and change the chemical makeup of your brain. Research demonstrates that doing new activities might enhance your general well-being and fortify your social connections. Consider starting a new sport or learning a new cooking skill to enjoy these advantages. Number 7. Care for a pet. While nothing can replace the human connection, Pets can bring joy and companionship into your life and help you feel less isolated. Caring for a pet can also get you outside of yourself and give you a sense of being needed, both powerful antidotes to depression. Number 8. Doing lovely habits. Play your favorite game, listen to music, eat your favorite snack, watching a show you like, or even having a shower can be small things that help to improve your mood. Number 9. Be kind to yourself. Being nice to yourself is an important strategy for getting through any challenging circumstance. Keep in mind that if you are depressed, it is not your fault. As you struggle through difficult situations and days when it seems like nothing will ever make you feel better,
be your own friend and provide plenty of compassion to yourself. Always keep in mind that you can recover from depression since it is a condition that is quite curable. Number 10. Reward your efforts. All goals are deserving of respect, and all accomplishments are cause for celebration. Take the opportunity to treat yourself when you accomplish a goal. Recognizing your own accomplishments may be a highly effective tool against depression's harmful effects. Number 11. Challenge negative thinking. Everything is seen negatively during a depressive episode, including how you view yourself and your aspirations for the future. When you have overwhelming thoughts of this nature, it's critical to keep in mind that depression is the cause of these unreasonable, gloomy attitudes, which are referred to as cognitive distortions and aren't realistic. They fall apart when you look at them closely. They can be difficult to give up, even so. Just telling oneself to just think positive won't help you get out of this negative frame of mind. It frequently is a part of a lifelong thought cycle that has become so automatic that you are hardly conscious of it. The key is to recognize the kind of negative ideas that are causing your depression and swap them out for more reasonable ones. Number 12. Ask for help. If you've tried self-help techniques and improved your lifestyle but your depression keeps getting worse, consider professional treatment. It's not a sign of weakness to need further assistance. The negative thinking that comes with depression can make you feel despair and lost so you need someone professional to help you. Doctors can assess your symptoms and help develop a clinical treatment plan tailored to your needs. This may include traditional options, such as medication and therapy, or alternative measures, such as acupuncture. Finding the right treatment for you may take some time, so be open with your provider about what is and isn't working. Your provider will work with you to find the best option. Hope that you found this video informative, don't forget to like and subscribe, have a nice day.